it's Cauldron and it's Anatan on this southwestern side as at Mali, like I said. And in the northeastern side, we've got Nyan Racing Cat on the Abbasid, already with a super forward gold. Let's see if Mali's going to do something about it. Yeah, you know, Mali is one that, uh, it's not like Mongols where you say super forward gold and it's like, oh, well, I know our pressure's coming fast. It's more of a, uh, all right, that's just a pressure point I know and is expecting, but this is something that cannot go unnoticed by Anatan. Anatan starting with that typical Molly opening. Nyan starting with the straggler tree openings. And why is that? He is dropping a dock on the middle pond. So wants to go ahead, secure up this shoreline fish, secure up this long-term eco advantage. We've seen it, you know, we just saw it in, in Canal. We've seen it in some of these other maps. And this is just kind of showing you, you know, the, in high elo games, if you can get any sort of of advantage then uh this is you know a, a way to do so you know i really really love this dock in the middle especially against mali because it means anatant is forced basically forced to make feudal units there's no there's not gonna be for Rimba fast castle at least not a naked one because this dock's forcing him to go out on the map and do stuff yes it is and so you know just how you just said it anatant Spots out the dock now with the scout moving by and what's his reaction going to be? He needs to react to this. Maybe not now, but maybe start to formulate a plan for a timing attack, for a timing push on the dock because he knows this delays up the age of timing for the Abbasid. Whereas Molly, you know, you're already pumping in that passive gold. You're sending everyone to food. You're going to get a quick, quick. Uh, age up here in a second, but look at Nyan dropping down a barracks. Yeah, I wonder what this barracks. I mean, of course he's he's gonna go on the pit mine and gonna try to burn down some houses. Uh, do you think Anatan's gonna go with the Saharan trade network, or if he's gonna plan on playing feudal anyway, is he gonna go with the quarry? You know, typically when you're playing a little bit more, like Quarry's typically the one if you think pressure is going to, well, both are kind of ones where you think pressure is going to be coming down, but Quarry's one of the ones if you think you're either going to get denied or no pressure. And that's as we say that, it's no pressure what he expects, so it's the Quarry. It's a little bit greedier. As the trade network, you need to, you know, that's protecting up your gold, um, and the Quarry is just giving you extra gold. So this is really where this will just allow Anatan to get 75 extra gold per minute but at the same time this pit mine is now exposed until anatan's actually gonna get some military going in fuel age which is not very far away granted and the first spear is he's probably gonna arrive at the same time that anatan hits fuel but he still has zero wood so he needs the 150 to actually make a production going yeah. And ooh, 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 look at Nyan, the uh, the first spearman has come out. It's not only a spearman, the outpost is a quarter of the way up. And, you know, this is kind of one of the downfalls of not having the tr trade network. You don't always have that gold just nice and protected up. Next spearman on its way. And Anatan is going heavy onto stragglers because he doesn't have a wood for a production building because he invested into so many houses. I would have I would have expected him to pull villagers here because he sees the tower. He sees the tower going up, and he could have denied this because there's only two spears here. Yeah, I, I kind of agree in a sense. It would have been a lot of idle time. He could have at least denied the tower at first, but he might just be saying, all right, you're just investing again a lot into this. You're not even feudal age yet. And he's dropping the mill and might start feeding himself some cows potentially. Um, and we'll yeah. still have the gold from the Mansa quarry. So maybe he's just saying, you know, take that gold. You're investing a lot into this. I'm going to just kind of continue to play my game. I mean, if you're Mali here, you don't really uh, need this oh, gold there it is. right now that the pit mine is producing passively for you. I mean, you you, you need it for javelins and you need it for the uh, Musafadi warriors. As Manatan's dropping down an archery range, so it's going to go uh, archers or javs. I'm expecting to see javs. And it was only four four spearmen that have been invested into. Nyan has halted production. He's burnt down two houses already. He's going to move on to a third as well. The first archers are on their way out. The problem here is just those spears can go jump, hide inside that outpost. And then we are kind of going to 
be at a deadlock. Um, but that should allow the houses to continue to stay alive at least. Exactly. And the awkward thing for Nyan right now is the fact that we are 5 minutes 20 in and he's about to hit the feudal resources, but then he still needs 2 minutes to get to the next age. So he you cannot switch it. He cannot switch up his unit composition, and Anatan uh, has free reign right now with his archers, because he knows there's not going to be horsemen. This outpost is prop. Yep, there it goes. Outpost actually ends up putting the house ablaze. So one more house will end up going down as a villager will not be able to move out. And that one archer, it's actually still there protecting it up. Um, so as those spears jump back out, spears will start to get focused down again. Really, really good job by Anatan moving that one single archer up, putting it in stand ground mode. And it is effectively denying those four spearmen from trying to burn down any more houses second range being dropped as well and anatan starting to pump houses around the west or northern northern side gold of his and i'm sure he'll drop a pit mine when he can afford to do so in triple archery range holy Ooh. hell okay. anatan is going full on archer range ball composition I, love, I, I just love this. I love where to see where this is going. Triple archery range, not what I would have thought he would go for. I thought he would put, possibly get a few more to 40 because he wants to deny the stock in the middle. And, uh, well, archers don't really kill buildings. Yeah, the but... thing is, though, is the archers will do effective in taking down the fishing boats. The one outpost will make it hard for those archers to do it from a good spot. I think he'll probably split three archers on each side, and he's actually dropping a dock himself. So maybe he'll just drop one springle chip, and that will also prove to be effective. His military numbers are climbing up. Nyan's only six eco ahead. Not too big of a lead, and as you mentioned, Anatan's been feudal age for quite some time. Longer already has triple production building down and a blacksmith so even though nyan has the resources in the bank he doesn't have anything as far as production goes as of now first stables just now being dropped and going down yeah and uh Anatan also has access to the javelin throwers here actually is queuing even more of them even though they are a very expensive unit they cost a ton of resources they can just run under this tower where there's only one the one scout in there okay now there's gonna be arrow slits as well Still, these uh, javelin throwers can move in there and just start killing fishing ships. Yep, and another outpost is going up on Anatan's next gold that he hasn't dropped a pit mine on. He can see this outpost, but is yet to react to it yet, and it should end up going up. There's a Malian transport ship. Let's go. I've, I've never actually seen this in use. Uh, Malian transport ship can fire so we're gonna see how how good it matches up here i uh, i have seen it playing team games with anatan quite a bit he will open with this and he will pressure and de deny docks fully with this exactly he'll just put villagers in a scout inside and watch this just goes sniping down all of these fishing boats <laughs> okay that's quite a chunk of damage this arrow slit is now actually pretty dangerous if anatan doesn't pay attention he's gonna lose his whole, whole arm here Oh, and he just jumps right out. It only takes down one fishing boat or so. An additional outpost going down, and Anatan has not... Ooh, it looks like he might have. Might have spotted... Yep, he spots this one out. Javelin thrower starting to attack that villager. Villager backing on away towards that next outpost that already has the good old arrow slits inside of it. So the question it now for Anatan becomes, is Siege Engineering to one ram going to be the play? Or... Is he going to invest more into something in the middle? Maybe a Springle chip? Maybe, you know, transitioning into some sofa? That's really going to be the ideas. And Nyan, he oh, drops oh, an explosive oh, oh, oh. down. Let's go. But does, does Anatan see this? Uh, yeah, he, he saw it pop out. But it's right now hidden in the fog. And the villager gets taken down that was building those forward outposts and double barracks has been dropped or on their way for Anatan. Nyan is only up four eco and uh, remember that's that six fishing ships. Demo is in the middle, oh, not going to get close no enough. Connection. Javs get an extra throw and take down that demo. Couple horsemen moving forward for Nyan. Actually, it's not just a couple. There's eight horsemen moving forward for Nyan and getting close. Looks like they're going to run, want to dive on top of these jabs. Jabs are starting to pull back. Archers starting to pull back together. 
Donzos are on the way. Are they going to get there in time? Not only that, he's, he has the transport ship. He can jump inside the transport ship, keep himself alive if he desires. Villagers are there too, but the high base damage of the Javelin Throwers proves to be just enough, proves to be effective as they are two-shotting those horsemen. The, uh, the scout is tanking up some damage. The scout actually stays alive. And the Donzo has popped out to start to burn down the outpost. And there's two Donzo here now. So Nyan effectively going to have his horsemen that he pushed forward with pretty much denied for the most part without doing too much damage on the other side. In the middle, we saw Anatan queue up a war canoe, which is oh. uh, Imali Hulk, but it immediately gets demoed. But problem and of the demo is it is a one-time shot and there's now no follow-up. And uh, this... Uh, Wall Cannon is just going to heal up. Yeah, if you have anything else to help out, it's basically a one-shot, but there wasn't anything else to help out. Now this War Canoe, it's healing and it's getting shots on some horsemen. There is a Dow that popped out, but the Dow's is what the War Canoe counters. So yes, the War Canoe's healing on up. It's taking effective shots into this Dow, and Dow has to back on away. Nyan, uh, oh, he baits in. The war canoe almost enough to get it taken down. Oh, and it stays alive. Oh. And the hero oh, ship goes down. War canoe stays alive. That was a detrimental loss for Nyan as Anatan is going to be able to have the war canoe again heal on back up. The mass he's starting to build up. It's going to allow him to probably just burn down this outpost in the middle in just a little bit. Looks like Nyan, though, during all of this, is burning down that initial set of pit mines and houses that Anatan invested into from the very start. Yeah, great, great value for Nyan here. And he's not hes not really losing that much in the middle anymore, because I think he gave up uh, producing fishing boats for quite a while now. And yeah, do you did. see that? Do you see the explosive Dao in the queue that's about to pop out? Let's see if it connects with anything. It come on, come on, use it! And it. I don't really think it would have been able to do anything except hit that war canoe, but the war canoe ends up getting taken down anyways with that explosion. Horseman, though, circle around in the middle side, gold, and Nyan is crushing down some of those Molly villagers. Where did the Molly villagers at? That transport ship in the middle. Oh, still proving to be effective. That's one of those things you never really think about. And a great, great job by Anatan. Houses starting to be focused. Anatan almost being a house yet again as all those houses in the east got taken down. There's more houses in the west next to that outpost that are being taken down as well. And Anatan still has not kind of gotten his base safe and secured yet. Yeah, Nyan's playing a Ring Around the Roses with the whole Malian army. And I think he's doing a great job here because if you look at his resources, he's playing to go Castle Age ASAP. He only has look at his resources, he has 2,300 food in the bank. Oh my gosh, he needs to do something with this. He just doesn't have the other resources to do stuff with. And I mean, even if he goes up to castle, this is going to be scary for him because he's down a lot of military villagers again, jump inside that transport ship, keeping themselves alive. More houses being burnt down. Anatan building up some more houses with those villagers. A couple more Donzo so coming out. Damage. Like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build myself a few Mali transport ships. Do you think, how, how, how do you feel about a man at arms rush into a Mali player? Because I'm pretty sure that's what Nine Racing Cat is gonna go for with that amount of food in the bank. Yeah, um, the thing. The thing is, is the numbers that Anatan has is kind of enough to deal with some men-at-arms production that would come out. And Nyan only has stables and archery ranges as of now. Um, it's a minute 45, so this is again that kind of timing attack that could prove to just be detrimental as Anatan is the one who's up 5 eco now. And not only up five eco, is up a significant amount of military, just needs to clean up some of that military and actually stabilize. Maybe, <clears throat> I know Anatan hates him, but maybe build a wall or two. 
Yeah, I mean, Anathan definitely can do that, because uh, all that's keeping Nyan safe here right now is the fact that the Mali army is busy chasing horsemen that are just uh, chasing around that base. Oh my uh, gosh, it is a ram! It's a ram that it's being dropped, and look at that, the horsemen immediately surrounded and 250 nice, resources nice down the drain. Huge dive. Anatan has enough for another ram, but it takes time to build one. It takes time to keep that alive. And Anatan moving forward with a mass of 35 units, and those 35 units are oh, about to perfectly wood find the wood line. <gasps> Oh, and he actually even delays it a little bit. He wants to get closer, wants to get more attacks on the whole entire wood line, getting us surrounded. And oh my god! That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten villagers down, twelve, fifteen. There were 25 villagers on that wood line. I see 11. So yeah, 14 villagers get taken down at the very least, uh, just by my rough math. And Anatan has vaulted himself into a sky high lead and not only the eco, but also he still has that military mass out. 65 units. I don't care if you have Castle Age men at arms coming out. Nyan, uh, you know, if even if he does Castle Age men at arms, you know Musafadis are going to start being trained. They trade effectively into those. Not only that, Manganel's trying to be dropped to deal with some of these ranged units immediately starts being focused. Megano gets taken down fully, full denial of resources. Oh, Archers are all going to get taken down as well. Not only that, Anatan splitting up some units into some other aspects of the eco. Three Donzos moving over to that wood line that Nyan thought was safe and secured. Once he spots out that mass amount of villagers, I wouldn't even be surprised to see him bring more units over there and just look at how much red is in the base of blue. Anatan is calling game. Villagers continuing to just fall, continuing to die, running on away. Donzo on the gold, Donzo on the wood line. They are everywhere, and Nyan cannot breathe. He is being choked, and all of his villagers are as well. Yeah, Nyan just, uh, wow. That, uh, that was a brutal end to that game. Well, N Nyan was just too greedy. Like, if you looked at his bank, he had so many resources, but he just wasn't spending them because he was banking it all on that Castle Age timing push. But, uh, well, the Mali army was in his base when he hit Castle Age. Yeah, if you, if you go to the resource count and you just...